Ricky now. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Fluffy Break Studio and today we are going to be continuing the adventure of Snow White in the Seven Dwarfs, folks. We are going to be continuing this adventure and I'm glad that you guys can all join along. So yesterday's adventure we have completed the witch's scary well that in a deleted scene of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. She gets thrown down that well. That's where she belongs, right? For giving that stinky, nasty um, apple. How's it going, Joshua? Welcome on in, buddy. To start your night off, eh? Start your night off. Because you have Sundays and Mondays off, if I'm not mistaken. So yesterday, this is all we really completed, folks. We just got literally, we got done with bag three. So, uh, partial of the cottage and the well and three minifigures. We got Doc and we got Snow White and her Prince Charming. Imagine that, folks. I was pretty shocked that literally in bag one, we're sitting here and we are getting Snow White and Prince Charming all in bag one. All right. I don't know about you folks, but I am super excited. We're ready up in this cottage. So what is it, bag four? Oh, we got another one. I think this is grumpy. Every other Monday off, I work this Monday, but you get Sunday off, right? You got Sunday off. We are making grumpy. Is gonna be the minifigure in this bag. So, I don't, so this is literally 2,200 pieces, but I just, I just don't understand how it's just 14 bags. Because look, this is bag four. That's all we're really getting. So I'm kind of surprised that we're just on bag four and we don't got much. Not much at all. But it looks like we're definitely going to be building Grumpy, so we'll be switching to Minecraft. Not Minecraft, uh, uh, minifigure view. There's definitely not a lot of pieces. I foresee a table being made because I got some bread. I see some brooms. Um, I forgot to find his hat. It's a brown hat. There we go. It's a brown hat. Let's go to minifigure view. All right, let's build a grumpy. I'm grumpy. If I had to reference myself to any of the seven dwarves, 
I would definitely say grumpy. And don't you know, just like all the beards are like not on like a mustache form. None of it goes really on the side when with the drawers. So if this isn't grumpy, I don't know what to tell you. He's holding a chalice. Almost makes you think of drunk. That's grumpy for you. So, we got a total of four minifigures so far. Really? Right off the bat, bag number four? Right off the bat, in bag number four, we're going to sit and we're going to build a broom. Okay. We're going to build a broom on bag number four for step one. I love it. The ironicness. And we're going to literally post the broom. Next to the fireplace. So you know if you need to clean something, you can. And we also have a barrel that goes in the corner. A little table it looks like. Well, because they are dwarves. So, they don't need much height. I don't even think we could literally, or my size, definitely not, could fit in a dwarf's cottage. No way. I'm assuming that this is going to be the start of holding the door, which I am correct, because now we are literally building the door. Nice oval-ish. Ish. Not quite, but close to ovalish. It's a three. Like I said, there is definitely not much pieces in bag four. Bag four is very light on pieces. This door doesn't have much support. So far, it's just two. Uh, one by four and a one by three that's holding the door together. I see a lot of heart pieces. So I'm very curious on how we're gonna implement hearts into the set. Like there are flat heart pieces. 
like these tile squares, but instead they are shaped like hearts. No, not even, not even these next two pieces are supports to hold the door together. Not even. So it's just two. Just two that are holding it together. Well, that kind of, that's kind of goofy looking to me. How they're going to want us to build the back door, which holds onto the hinge. I'm sorry, but that's kind of goofy looking. Just a little bit goofy. I didn't know this was Goofy's cottage, but. Definitely looks uh, very over exaggerated on the backside. They could have definitely chose a different way to hold it onto the hinges, but they went with the bulky route, and I mean super bulky. And obnoxious. I don't. I don't judge much about how designers decide to do it, but I'm kind of judging on this part because I feel like why does it look like this kind of situation? This is going to go down just a little bit. I don't see the gap being that big. Then again, it is laying down, so I can't really tell. I don't see it being this big, but we will know. No, I got it right. There we go. Doors on. S see how obnoxious this th looks? This is obnoxious to me. It could have been done differently. This is obnoxious. Okay, so it's for the chairs. And I knew we were building a table. We got seven chairs to make. Seven. Not one. Not two. Not three or four. But seven. It's a lot of chairs. Okay, it's using these pieces. And this is where all those heart pieces, as mentioned, comes into place. It explains why there are so many hearts. Uh, 
That's fun. There's two chairs. Three chairs, four more to go. Should almost call bag for the accessory bag because all it is is furniture. Oh, bag four is complete furniture. Furniture. All these hearts. All these hearts. So many hearts. Four chairs. Three more to go. Three more. Chairs. A chair for each dwarf. A chair for each dwarf. Five chairs. Six, one more chair to go. Last two of those heart pieces. There we go. We got all seven. Which now we get to take all seven and put them at the table. In each one of the spots. See, Doxy would be at the head of the table. But 
dock seats at the head of the table. And just what I expected, this is going to be... The table. Which we got a lot of bowls to add to the table. Seven to be exact. Seven bowls. For each one of the doors. Each dwarf gets a bowl. How they want the bowls placed. Okay, it's going in between. One, two, three. They seem pretty tight up on top. But... Dude, this is an interesting way to make legs. These are going to be the legs of the table. The number account is seven. I explain why it isn't and isn't eight. Does Snow White not eat with them? Hmm. Exactly. Guess not. They make her eat outside. They make her eat outside. And now we add the bread, because that's all they eat, is bread. Now we gotta add the chalices. Why is there two random ones down here? Okay, never mind, I see why. No tubby day, Mr. All, no tubby day. Huh. Seven bowls, six chalices. Oh yeah, that's because Doc, I mean, uh, Grumpy's holding one in his hand. Grumpy's holding one in his hand. Now we get to put well, Look at that table Full of bread A table full of bread Only a few extra spare pieces. So bag four was literally a broom, a barrel, a door, a side table with a mug, seven chairs, 
a table with seven bowls, six chalices, and some bread. And you also built Grumpy all in bag four. That's it. So more of, more along the lines to me, I call it an accessory bag. Because that's all you really made was accessories. Seven little people. Oh, come on now. We got some green. Look how little full they are. There's like nothing in these. It's like nothing in some of these bags. But there's 2,200 and some odd pieces. Answer me that. How's it going, Scotty Ryan? No minifigure in bag five. So why is it why was it Prince Charming? Why did it have to be Prince Charming that kissed Snow White? There were seven men that could have kissed Snow White. There was literally seven men that could have kissed Snow White, but no, it was only Finch Tarman. They all did and didn't work. <laughs> They all, they all, they all took a kiss and it just didn't work. I'm assuming. I'm assuming it just didn't work. They all took a little bit of the taste of the great apple. Looks like we're already going to start working on the other half of um, the cottage. Because this is the other base, the last base. How's your day going, Scotty? How's your day going? We don't have that going on here, so we don't have to worry about that over here. Because we got none of that happening. And all you lovely mods would fix it real fast. Scotty, you're going to Brickfest, right? I mean, Brickworld? You going to Brickworld? Yes. Yes.
Take that food. Okay, it is leaning more this way. Oh, for some reason I didn't space this one. I didn't space this one for some reason. I gotta love doing flooring. Did you knock off anything on your list, Mr. Harrell? That never-ending list that just keeps on growing and gets bigger and bigger. Do you knock anything else off? Such unique flooring patterns. This overhangs? No. This goes here. That goes there. Getting weirded out by the other spot, so I'm trying to place some of this other stuff first. This goes under. So is that still gonna hang on? Because according to this, it goes here. Unless I put this on.
couldn't be. It's not after it. This is the wrong one. It's this one. So this should fit now. Weirdly, but yes, it fits. It was just the wrong angle. I was using the wrong angle. Wrong is relative. Color is probably the most frequently mistaken in instructions. No, I used the wrong angle. I just grabbed one. I didn't check the angle facing on this one. Because I needed this angle, which I had here. Come on, squeeze in there now. Don't be stubborn. Amazon, I made tiny mistakes on the Concord. It was exactly that. Get, guess what? So, t my Target has a lot of exclusive Lego sets that if you would go online and look at the Lego website, it would tell you that it's exclusive, right? They have a lot of sets that are exclusive. Concord's there. Concord's at Target. Pac-Man sets at Target. There's a lot of... The El Rado set is at Target. So I'm like, I don't even need to go to a Lego store. My Target is fulfilled of it. Oh, Scotty, you're back. I asked you if you were going... You're going to Brick World, right? Catch it before you go deal with more bots. I'm trying to convince Mr. Haral that he should join. I have a spare bed. Hey, I'll even, I'll even go deep in my deep pockets. <laughs> I'll even hop in my pockets and get you a plane ticket. Free breakfast every day.
Why don't you post it in Discord? And at everybody in regards to streamers. I would just suggest posting Discord. Sometimes I feel like we have we I feel like we should make a streamer only channel that we give to people we know that stream. For things like this or you know they can talk about burnout and you know it's a chat for just streamers to talk if they're going through something instead of talking to someone that might be a viewer that might go harass them on that problem I know I've been laid back on the whole discord stuff but I think it's time for me, me and you and all the mods to pull full throttle and back on Discord and grow it more. This was, look at this, this is all bag four folks and five. This is all bag five. What a clinky dinky dink. Oh, it's one all. We're going to discuss how frustrating Canadians are. Always apologize and put in maple syrup on everything. Good. Yes. We could definitely do that. Who else is suffering from the follower purge? I mean, I've dealt with it before when I was gaming. Been there, seen it. It's like false hope. and uncertainty. It's a rug! We just built a rug. Oh, these stickers keep getting in my way. The stickers are for the beds, which the beds aren't even until we get to the second floor. Alright folks, we're going to be moving on to bag six. But before we do so, I am going to take a momentary break. Mods, hold the fort. Until I return.
Alright, folks, I heard it. I heard it. Holy crap! I am sorry, folks. Holy crap! I leave for two seconds and bring the kid to bed. I leave for two seconds to bring the kid out of bed. And Pick Stitch comes in and raids Hogwarts with 120 Dementors. Holy Toledo. Thank you, Pick Stitch. I duly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed cosplaying as Princess Peach today. I hope you enjoyed the game because I always enjoy watching you play the game. Which actually makes me want to get the game. You're the inspiration that wanted me to go get the Donkey Kong and Mario game. Which I did. That game's a lot of fun. Drifty Allison. Thank you very much for the follow. Morpheo Dibius Dragon. Thank you for the follow. NetNet1290. Thank you for the follow. Trixie Star. Thank you. Rapid to the Moon. Thank you very much. Crusty Customs, thank you for the follow. I do really appreciate the amazing love and support. Thank you, one and all. And thank you once again, Pick Stitch. There's no way I'm going to catch up on the chat. The timing, I know. I literally, the missus literally told me the kids are ready to go to bed. So I went down, was bringing the, uh, cha uh, was bringing the kids up to the bed. And all I can hear... Is my raid uh, raid alert going off? I'm like, oh no, I'm under attack. Hopefully, my boat mods can survive. I'm sh I'm sure you're excited to get out of the costume. I'm sure I'm sure you're excited to get out of that costume. Hey, but hey, I've seen a ton more Princess Peach outfits that you can now go for. That game gives you many options, especially that disco one. The winter one when you get uh, for the ice ring. Lots of cosplaying outfits for Princess Peach now because of that game alone. Literally, he needs a Princess Peach collection. And he should have like a redeem. 20,000 points and he instantly just has to get up and go put the outfit on. There you go. 20,000. Chokyoki1, thank you very much for dropping the follow. I do really appreciate the support. Yeah, 20,000. You have to go transform in a peach. I actually thought about it. That I'm going to do a... Redeem for I got to change into Hagrid. Where I have to go change real quickly. It'll take like 5-10 minutes. Where I go change into Hagrid. And I got to do the rest of the stream. Being Hagrid. How's it going Legend? Tricky Star. Krusty Customs. Drifty Allison. Morpheus. Miss Prophet DNA. Just going through chat trying to collect on what I miss. I don't care what you do. What a name. What a timing, though. What a timing. <laughs> Chair stream? Yes. Uh, Chunky 8. Black Sheet Meat. Allocate Coffee. Peaceful. Lightning Builder. Pick Up Notes. Welcome. Hello. Gemini Tiger 86. I think I got caught up. Alright, so we are working on the seven dwarfs. Snow White and the seven dwarfs. So far, we have built Snow White, Prince Charming, Grumpy, and Dog. Uh, legend everywhere. Everywhere. Thank you, Peaceful, for dropping that follow. Welcome to Hogwarts. Oh, you want to see some minifigures? We'll show you some minifigures. Amazing set, though. If you guys ever thought about actually getting this set, I highly recommend it. 
<clears throat> the building experience is absolutely phenomenal. Here we got lovely Snow White in that bulky dress. And she's got that cloth covers on the sides. And here is Doc, Mr. Smarty Pants. Coming with the beard, the glasses, and almost like a Santa outfit. So look, Mr. Hurl, they got your minifigure. It's time for me to call it a night. Enjoy yourself. Trixie Star, stay awesome, stay safe, and get some rest. Here's Grumpy. This is me. I'm grumpy all the time. Grumpy. And I'm surprised because bag one, we actually got um, Prince Charming and Snow White right off the bat. Usually they save the best ones for near the end, but not in this set. And here we go, Prince Charming, which looks like a very young version of him. This is Prince Charmin. How's it going, the Slaggy Man? Scotty snoozing. I will show you what part of the other half of the cottage that we got done so far. This was bag two, three, and four. This was bag two, three, and four. Bag one. This is all bag one was. Right here. Was the wishing well that the witch actually gets thrown into on a deleted scene only. The deleted scene only. Alright, so we're going to be working more on in bag six, but we do actually have a minifigure in bag six also. Um, I'm not sure who this one is. I don't remember all the names. Um, I think this is Happy. And the reason why, you will see. Just by the minifigure face. You guys can justify in the comments if this is happy or not. Everyone that is watching, type in the comments, what is your favorite dwarf of the seven dwarves? Are you sneezy? Are you doc? Are you grumpy? Are you dopey? Are you sleepy? Are you happy? Or are you bashful? Oh, this one could be bashful, though. Um... My favorite dwarf is Grumpy. My favorite dwarf is Grumpy. Slinky man, thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. I could see that, Pixie. I could see that. I could see that 100%. I do want to let everybody know if it does seem that I'm talking elsewhere, it is because I am live on TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube all at the same time. So don't worry, I won't miss your comment. I see everybody's comment, so don't you worry. But if it seems like I'm talking to somebody that's not in the current chat, that's because I might be talking in another platform. Don't worry. I'd say I like Grumpy, but me happy. Miss Prophet, you're super happy. You're always laughing. You're super happy. Slinky man, have a great night. Prophet is grumpy for sure. Well, I didn't want to say it out loud, but since you did... But since you did. <laughs> but since you did, uh, we just need his hat. His hat is yellow. All right, so you guys can let me know 
if this is happy, I want to say he's happy. So, I want to say this is happy, but it could be wrong. All right. What do we say? What's the verdict? Is this happy? Is this happy? He actually has a pickaxe. That's happy? I love how they all have the beards, but the beards are like on their chins. All the beards are like sitting on the chins. So why don't I just go trim all this off? All from here. I'm going to trim all this beard up. Off. I'll just have a long beard come right here. We'll just do snow white beard. What would Bashful look like? He's not the only one smiling. Doc is smiling. But I think it, I call him Doc because of the glasses. And if I don't remember, if I remember correctly, he was the only one with the glasses. It's only one sided heads, right? No, two. That's his other head. So they're all two sided. But I try to make them look like they're happy. They're happy where they're at. They're happy. They're happy to be here. They're happy to share in the moment. They stand in part time for the for some of the reindeer comet vixen dopey blitzing grumpy. It's tough getting them all moving in the same direction. Has anybody seen what how somebody mocked? They mocked this set and they built the caves under the cottage and they have a motorized deer that goes around under it in the tunnels. It's pretty cool. I'll post it on Discord tonight if I can find it. So if you're on Twitch, just do exclamation point Discord and you'll be able to get the link to be sent over. If it doesn't work, I duly apologize. It should be then in the about me section. My bot's being unreasonable lately. Or if one of my mods don't mind uh, posting the link. Alt Forever Gamer, welcome. How's it going? Hope you're enjoying your Saturday. This looks like a piece of cheese. Is this a mouse hole? Oh, come on. Is this a mouse hole? Could it possibly be a mouse hole? Look at this. It's a little hole. This is a big hole, which goes into a little hole. Could this possibly be a cheese? Uh, Jacob the Weird Kid, we are building Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. All the balls be dropping today. I think what happens is StreamerBot keeps unsinking from my Twitch, and that's why the commands aren't working. But how are you doing today, Jacob the Weird Kid? CR7, Rodigo3, thank you much for dropping the follow and welcome to Hogwarts.
Hope you're having a wonderful day, CR7. Hopefully you're doing awesome and enjoying your Saturday. Unless you're so far in time, it's already Sunday for you. All right, folks, here's a good question. What could possibly be in this? What could possibly be in this barrel? This is a barrel of some sort of drink. So what could possibly be in the barrel that the dwarves would drink? Oh, Mr. Herald dropped the link for the Discord. So if you guys want to join, definitely do. I will post a pic or a small video of that uh, mock somebody did on this set. After stream. What beer? Water? I'm curious though, to be honest. Because I could see it being alcohol. But it is a Disney set, so. It is a Disney set. Dwarf beer. Dwarf beer. Could see it, yes. I wonder if there's actually a thing about it. That is the question I'm going to find out right now. I think I'm going to get Alexa for the room for questions like that. Uh, what did the seven dwarfs drink? And I'm assuming in the movie they had to have drink something. Someone said they were drunk. Okay. I'm getting in the weird forms of the internet. I guess you gotta pay attention. Very close attention to what you ask. Yeah, ale. Yeah, and then somebody said cocaine. I'm like, what? No. I'm like, no. That's the weird part of the internet for ya. Well, we can already tell where uh, this is gonna attach to the other half. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa says, they're just a bunch of boozers. They're just a bunch of boozers. Chugging ale. That explains it. So Disney didn't mind throwing a little bit of alcohol in the situation. That sets the light on the dark side. The dark side of Disney. That's going under a little cavern. The ale is hidden under a little cavern. Oh, we're going to be decorating this side. Really can't, unless I hope. Oh, there goes the ale. I'm tossing ale over here. So we are going to be decorating this wall so it doesn't look so pale. The ale, you say?
Well, that's the little pattern. I don't know if it's supposed to reference something. That's the pattern. Perhaps it's a pail of ale. Where did the hell? Where did I put it? So, once this set's done, we are going to be working on a light kit. Then we're going to be moving on to a botanical set. But after those two are done, we then will be coming back to Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and we'll be lighting it. I already got this. I already got the light kit. I got a day one, to be honest. As soon as they posted this. I had to, and I did. Because I am a junkie to be lit. So one of my good friends on uh, TikTok, folks, he he just started getting to lighting, lighting his city and stuff. And he got a light kit for, uh, the, I think the Avengers Tower. That's the only thing I seen him light was the Avengers Tower. So he got the set, and he had the whole set run off of a battery pack. Two battery packs, if I'm not mistaken. And he loved it. It looked great. But then he was like, oh, what if I plug it into the wall? And the night and day difference from being battery powered to wall powered... Significant. You could say there's a lot more juice. You could say there was a lot more juice. By far, a lot more juice. Uh oh. My music took a burp. My music took a burp. Yeah, none of the commands work. Mr. All, remind me tomorrow, if I forget, to work on the bot, because, yeah. Remind me tomorrow. My memory is not the greatest lately. Did we literally just do one step? 144, and all we did was put two plants. <laughs> By the way, your your special item should be sent out Tuesday on my day off. Because my post office and a lot of post offices near us close at 12 and well, I'm always at work, so. Gotta love budget cuts. Gotta love budget cuts. When I was reviewing the top, a mega came me. Thank you very much for dropping the phone, becoming a member of Hogwarts. 
So when I was looking at the top egg, I re I noticed there was an imperfection, so I'm reprinting that anyways tomorrow. How's it going, Omega? But, uh, look at that. And it's gone already. It's, it's, it's came, it's gone, and it's gone. Oh, I'm doing great. I'm enjoying this set phenomenally. Especially since I used to watch this movie a lot as a kid. A lot. Nostalgic. N Disney movies will never be as good now as they were then. Because I feel like writers now don't do a lot of teaching moments anymore. But that's just my opinion. I feel like back then, movies always led to some sort of teaching moment. And I feel like that's what we're missing nowadays. You just watched it a few nights ago? Aren't they working on a uh, live action version? Isn't there a live action version of the... Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs in the works? I mean, they're pretty much trying to have live action of everything. Because they can't come up with anything new. So instead of come up with something new, we're just going to make a live action movie of something old. I'm curious to see how that's going to play out. All the little people. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's going to be a good movie. I don't know. I'm kind of now intrigued to see the live action version. Miss Cubbyus TV. Thank you very much for dropping that follow. I do appreciate the amazing love and support. Welcome to Hogwarts. And I hope your Saturday is going well. Unless you're all the way in the future. And it's already Sunday for you. Look at this outer wall and how offsetting it is. Look at all these empty holes. We got one more section piece to put in. Which is this one. I've watched Snow White, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, The Little Mermaid. Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Tangled, and Wish over the last week. Over the last week? Holy moly. I just recently seen um, Sleeping Beauty, the live action version. And I want to say they did a phenomenal job. I've seen all those movies. And recently, actually, I did watch Wish. It was good. They did a good job on Wish. I'll say that. And that actually is a movie that had a moral to it. That you should always keep your wishes close to your heart. And never give up on your wish. Is what I got for the moral of the story. Keep wishes close to your heart and never give up on them. There were some savage moments with that king, though. He was a savage. Right off from the get-go. 
his whole nicey nice went right out the window really fast. I was like, holy transition. That didn't take long. Not Mr. Nice, huh? Not Mr. Nice. Wish was good though. It's still it's still funny that there was Lego sets. I did at first, but he changed. He he, I don't know. And how, like, killing some he was. Like he had that devious, I'm going to kill you if you don't go along with my methods kind of thing. You got to add a little bit of foliage on to the wall. We do have drop game available, guys, if you guys want to participate. Exclamation point drop. See if you land. I didn't at first. I went I didn't I went into the movie thinking he wasn't. And I thought someone else was the person stealing the wishes from him or that's how it was gonna play out until it was him being greedy. So I'm building the castle thinking, oh this guy seems cool. I wonder what his role in the film is. Didn't know he was gonna be the villain. See that was funny. Lego literally released Release wish sets way before the film was out. I think it was like two to three months early. I was going Mikeyson. General Kenobi. I have a different bot doing it. Bot race is what I use for chats. That's funny. I'm working and trying to design a Gundam in studio. So you're taking a normal Gundam and building it in Lego form? Is that what you're trying to tell me? You're taking Gundam and building it in Lego? Is that what you're doing? And might I ask, how is that going? And I'm sure you're part of, you're already part of the Discord. If so, you're more than welcome to share some uh, screenshots of your progress in Discord for all of us to see. I don't have steady enough hands for Gundam. That's one reason why I could never do it. My hands shake way too much. But hey, if you actually get a good mock out of it, you can get some instructions out of it, I'll, I'll build it. For sure, I'll Lego. I have not. What in the heck? But that's a good suggestion. I don't know what this is. Is this water? A sink? Could be a sink. I'm going with sink. I'm going with sink. 
Oh, that's actually a good idea then, because I can get them bad. And it freaks me out sometimes. What you thinking about? I'm thinking about thinking. I s is, is this a spot for the rat or the mouse? Cause that looks like a piece of cheese. Unless it's a, no, it wouldn't be a stove. Fireplace with the kettle was on the other side of the room. Fireplace with the kettle was on the other side of the room. I'll definitely take a look at it. Thanks for the awesome suggestion. I just fear it's a sign of I'm just getting old. <laughs> Is there a reason why there's a single plate? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Just a single plate or a placemat. And it says grumpy on it. That's definitely for me. Unless that's pie. Unless that's pie. Unless it's pie. Oh, we got another cup. Huh? I didn't know this played vocals. Okay, I guess it does vocals. All this is copyright free because I pay to use it. Definitely a kitchen area, though. So come on, let's make this river shine all day. I don't know if I'm getting creeped out by this music or not.
It's like for something for water. It definitely is water. What's funny is they took what they would use for fire and instead of having the blue of uh, orange color, it's blue to make it look like water's pouring out. I know. It's so amazing. Like instead of having it like a red flame, it's clear blue, which makes it look like there's water pouring out. I don't know if they've always done it like that. I'm gonna reset the, um... Top camera. This is giving me issues. Should be better now. I'm gonna reset it again. Sorry about the inconvenience, folks. I don't know why it's being a pain. Is it a top camera problem? Yeah, I don't know. It's being weird. And then it unzooms out. I don't know why. Sorry guys, but it's gonna have to stay like that for some reason. It's being... It's being troublesome. Apologize. We're almost done with this bag anyways. And then we'll be back live Wednesday night, folks. We will be back live Wednesday night. At 8 p.m. Easter time. Look, we get to use some stickers. And they're all the eights, which are a bunch of rabbits. I don't like doing stickers on curves. Stickers on curves are a nightmare.
I'm very curious on what this is. Is this part of like an organ? More stickers? Nine? and kingles. I'm going to restart this one and see if it does anything different. It does not. So, okay. so it goes green, brown, yellow, brown, yellow it is brown right it's not the reddish I said brown could be the reddish version I assume it's the reddish version um, a dark green And then this orange is one. And that sits right on top of this. Just like that. It is an organ. Well, after this bag, I'm going to be done and raiding out, so. It's all good. Life happens. It's a piano. Organ. Oh, have mercy. Oh, have mercy. That's a lot. Three, four, five. You want the other one done four times. So it must have been brown. It is brown. No, one's different color, right? Yep. The other one's the other color. Okay. So this one actually looks good out. So it goes gold brown four times. Gold brown. Two gold brown three 
gold, brown, or gold, yellow, just three times. All right, gold purple is two. This is only one. Uh oh. Oh, good thing my shirt got it. You know, I think I have a spare. And then just toss a gold one up. And that's the piano. Organ, I would call it. And then all these are extra pieces. And then this is gonna somehow I think it's gonna connect like that. Thanks for everyone for showing up. I duly appreciate it. All right, everyone, YouTube, I'll see you guys all.